There are two issues on the table right now. The GPL, boo. Boo. The W, yeah, yes. The WEP. So we're, trying to, we're trying to repeal the GPL. We're trying to repeal the three years. Now, Karen has dedicated her life to jobs and activities to help others. And she has a list of accolades to be proud of. She has been the Warren Yukel Teacher of the Year and the Channel 2 Teacher of the Year. She has been nationally published, and while teaching for over 30 years, she has created programs for universities to help teachers to be recognized and treated with professionalism, the professionalism that they deserve. That's right. As you know, retired teachers and public service workers have been financially crippled by the effects of the WEP, the Windfall Elimination Provision, and the GPO, the government. Many of these people never even saw it coming, and some of them didn't even know the WEP and the GPO even exist. No one in this country should ever be without hope for a better future. The WEP says that um, anyone in public service who contributes to the state retirement system for teachers, for example, um, that they are then disqualified for receiving their full Social Security benefits they'd otherwise be entitled. Joan Buchanan. I tell you today, if I'm fortunate enough to go to Congress, I will become one of the leaders to repeal this. It's unfair, it's unjust, and it's an affront to all of you who commit your lives to publish no job in the world that's more important, and I value what you do every day for the children of our community. Very special guest of honor, Janet Roosevelt. We're here to say that the denial of retirement security to anyone who's worked hard in this country is wrong. Social security is for all of us. And as with so many of the New Deal programs that FDR initiated, one of social security's core principles is the idea of inclusivity. Teachers, their social security benefits is particularly upsetting. Ensuring that you receive your fair share of social security is the least the government should do. We say we value our teachers. We need to show you that we really do support the value. Assembly member. We have a time in our hands. We have some educating to do to the public at large. But when people find out what this penalty means, I call it a hero's penalty. And it's not just teachers, by the way. We're now joined by policemen and firefighters, social workers, county workers, delivering vital services, medical services, and health people across California. We're linking arms in this fight. You are the heroes who have chosen public service, and your government is not honoring that, not recognizing that, and cheating you out. Let's welcome Ken Hewitt. The national politics of 2009 could make this an historic year for all of us. This is a broad grassroots movement, the outrage of citizens, and we must be heard in the call. Let's get the message straight. You know, I wrote this a long time ago. If you haven't got the message straight by now, I'm not sure you're going to get it. Well, let's review it one more time. This, these penalties are unpaid into Social Security. We are not asking for something that is free and gratis and a handout. We paid for the 10-year minimum that was required in Congress on the Web GPO issue are, ex are excellent. They are better than any of the other Congress people coming from other states. I have been there. I have listened to them. I have watched them, and I am back here to tell you that we have good leaders in the Congress on this issue. Congresswoman Barbara Jewett, my middle grandson Joshua, asked me to come down to Sierra Madre for one hour to talk to the class about my career, and I did that because you know what? When teachers call, I respond. Many of my colleagues, I did.
did sign on early to H.R. 235, which is, of course, you know, the Social Security Fairness Act of 2009. I signed on because I believe in this, and I believe that it's not only the right thing to do, but it's the fair thing to do, and it is about economic justice, and teachers deserve justice. sends it to more than 40 different important people. So one letter multiplies it out. So socialsecurityfairness.com. 